Alright, uh, this is a tutorial on how to use the Velocity script that's on my self right page. Uh, so you can go ahead and download it off the page and you got a TXT or a zip, I don't know. Uh, you'll get this little TXT file. I'm just gonna keep that open in the background. Uh, so in After Effects, just make a new composition. Uh, it doesn't really matter how long it is. And let's just find a clip. Uh, what we're first, what we're gonna do is enable, we're gonna search for slider control. And you're gonna add it twice to the to the clip. You're gonna rename this by clicking Enter. And we're gonna name this Velocity. And the second one is gonna be named Offset. Uh, on the clip, you're gonna enable time wrapping. Uh, so Control Alt T, or you can go to Layer Time Enable Time Wrapping. Right click Time, time uh, whatever. Uh, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy everything in the TXT file, you're going to alt click the stopwatch right here, you're going to paste it in here. Uh, this script, you don't really need to look at this. Uh, that was, yeah. Anyway, uh, you, you can just keep this closed. Uh, the basics of velocity, um, if you, you obviously have the value set to zero, so it's not going to move. It moves a bit slightly. Uh, but if we set this to 100, you can see that it moves faster. Uh, it's a bit slower, uh, but that's how it goes. So if we were to say we were start at zero, and we're gonna slowly increase to a hundred, that works. Uh, yeah, so it, it starts off slow, and it goes faster. Um, and we can, well, we can we can start off fast. So we can start off with like 400, and three frames in we can put 200, and then three frames later we can put eight. So it goes slower. And uh, what we can do is press U, uh, press it again to show all keyframes. Just gonna put another one in here. Same, just 70. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quite insecure about my velocity. Uh, velocity choice. Uh, oh, okay. Is this yeah, okay, that's good. That's good enough. So if you play this, um, yeah, you get it, you get it. <laughs> uh, and then later we can, we can set it to 8 again, and then let's scale it up again. I don't know it's further yeah this should be good and then play it and then um, cut it here oh yeah there's another fe feature uh, which is offset and basically you can adjust the offset so it starts so if you have this part um, where you're not happy with, so this is the middle of the slow motion. And you're not happy with this part. Uh, you can you can adjust the offset, and it will just have a nice view for a slow motion part. Uh, what you can also do with this is keyframe this, and then on the next one you can move it further, so it skips quite a few frames. So you have this is a method of cutting clips. Uh, you can use this. Uh, you don't have to. You can just use Control Shift D to cut the clip, and uh, that's where you go it. And uh, pretty much how the script works. Yeah, you, you do have to apply it uh, on each clip every time you load it. But uh, okay, you can you can just drag in a new one, just copy these with the exact same values, and then copy this, this script again. You just click it, Control C. Control T, I'll click it, paste it, and it will play the exact same uh, velocity. So it's it's really easy to copy and paste, uh, but this is what I would prefer uh, if you're looking to work in just one program, especially if you want to apply some. Whoop, where is it? This one? I think so. Or is motion blur? It's the motion blur I recommend, but you have to enable this. 
yeah, okay, people are asking me how to how to get good looking motion blur. And in my opinion, it's um, so from start, you double click this. You have to do it on each clip, so it's it's all the clips. So yeah, just just look. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's, that, that's decent. Yeah, that's decent. Um, yeah. So for the the motion blur, you can you can enable this, and you have to click this. Uh, so this will enable frame blending. You can kind of see it. It kind of frame blends the frames, but she does decrease the oh whatever. Uh, and then just you can add a new adjustment layer. I slap on post motion blur, and uh, if you have a good PC, it will render fast enough. But um, yeah, for me, it's not that fast. The best quality should be motion blur samples 32 or 16, but it will just take longer. So yeah, don't do that if you're. I mean, you can do RSMB if you want, but. Man, I was supposed to be talking about the velocity script. Why am I? God, goodbye.